Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. I want to end the month of October the way I began the month of October. And that has to do with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I went and had an, a, a mammogram done in the month of October. It was October the 4th. They, I was informed they said that I would have a call in regards to the results, and I did. I was called on Friday, October the 8th, and was told that I had been scheduled for a second round of mammogram exam, and it was only going to be for the right breast. Undoubtedly, they didn't like what they saw in the images that had been taken. Well, it definitely wasn't anything I wanted to hear. I wasn't um, happy about that kind of news. Anybody that knows me for very long knows that I'm very intentional in regards to words because uh, there's a saying that goes something like this, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Well, I believe that. And I am very intentional in regards to the words that I say, especially over my own body. I always call myself whole, healed, and well. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. It's the way I live. And so I just really wasn't glad to hear that kind of news that I had to have a second mammogram done. When I went in on October the 20th to have the second set done, I really didn't want to be there. The nurse that brought me back went over the um, information I had just um, had just filled out on the form that they had given me, and to me it was really it would really have been real simple just to read it off instead of me having to go over it the second time. Because every time I, as a matter of fact, every time I met a nurse, I had to tell them who my, what my name was and give them my date of birth. I guess there's been issues with that in the past, and we all have to pay the price for somebody else's shortcomings, it seems like. So, and the medical establishment, they got to do what they got to do. However, I just... Didn't want to be there. Didn't think I needed to be there. And so I wasn't in uh, the right kind of mindset. But I got in the right kind of mindset. So she left. Another nurse came in. And she says, we're only going to take two images of your right breast. So that's what we did. These images, the machine, I, my breast was compressed a little harder than it was in the first set of images back on the fourth. And I recognize that. As a matter of fact, I had a, I kinda had a gut check on the fourth that this nurse is not pressing like I normally have a, pre, uh, a screening done, mammogram screening done in the past, but I didn't say anything. Okay, so I had told that nurse, I said, listen, I want to see these images from my first mammogram and this mammogram. She says, not a problem. I'll let the radiologist know that. And she did. When she came back, I got the news from the ultrasound lady saying, Miss Courtney, I'm so-and-so. I do ultrasound. And I'm gonna, you have had a, the radiologist has ordered you an ultrasound. And so I didn't like hearing that either. So we went and did the ultrasound and she only focused, of course, on the right breast and she only focused on the nipple part of the right breast. And so once that was finished up, she took those results to the radiologist. 
and I waited a little while. I did not put any of my tops back on. She said, stay like you are. I said, okay, not a problem. The radio just come in and she said, looked at me. She says, Miss Courtney, we have the results of your uh, mammogram and the ultrasound. And I just wanted to doubly make sure that I, that the tests were right and I was reading it right. And she said, your mammogram is okay. We could not find anything. And that's what I wanted to make sure of. Well, she says, I know you want to see these images, so come into my office and I'm going to show them to you. And I did. And so she read the images of me with the first images being where there was some white mass there. And then with the second images, when they pressed harder on the second mammogram, though that white whiteness in that image uh, went away. And then when they did the ultrasound just on the nipple part, because they didn't know if there was something behind the nipple that wasn't showing up on the mammogram, they wanted to be certain and there was nothing showing. And so I said, well, who don't know that? So I went back and uh, put my clothes on and I was dismissed. I'm so glad I went and got my mammogram. And not knowing how to read images and mammograms or ultrasounds, I am thankful for the nurses that attended to me and the radiologists that did do the, um, uh, the, the, that read the mammogram and the ultrasound. What it did, it just proved, proved to me and to them and to whomever else that it does matter that you do have mammograms, that you do have ultrasounds or what every other test that is required so that you can be really, really, really sure of what you're looking at or what you're not looking at. So I am very thankful. I thank God that I have no issues with my breast. They are well and completely whole. And I wanted to let you know this. So do your due diligence in regards to your body. Take the proper steps images, tests that's needed for you to live a whole and healthy life. Speak the right kind of words over yourself. Anybody that comes with me with anything other than positivity, I do not accept it. I refuse it. And I have told people that I will not accept anything that they have said because I believe this. And so that is proper to do especially for me. So I want to thank you for being here. Comment down below and let me know your comments. This has to do only with my personal experience in my mammogram. Every mammogram for every woman is individually different, of course. However, I am thankful for the opportunity to have taken a mammogram. I like to keep a check on myself so I can prove that I am whole, healed, and well from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I have other great videos coming. Go out and make it a great day. I'm glad I found you. I'm glad you found me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.